Okay, so today we are going to solve the policy 2020 year paper. The first question is, which of the following is an irrational number? So from the options given are 0 0.2 bar, 2 into 3 by 5, 1.2121 to 1 and so on and pi. So let us take the option pi. The answer is pi. The value of pi is 3.1415926 and so on. It has an infinite decimal number. So the irrational number has infinite decimal number. So the pi is the answer. Second one. If a comma b comma c are real values, then which of the following shows associative property with respect to addition? The associative property with respect to addition is given as sum of three or more numbers remains same irrespective of way the numbers are grouped. So the option is a plus b plus c equals to a plus b plus c next one which of the following rational numbers has terminating decimal expansion the rational numbers the simplified form of rational numbers is in which the denominator is in the form of 2 uh, 2 power m into 5 power n denominator form p by q if p by q is a rational number then the denominator should be in the form of 2 power n into 5 power n. So the second option which is given as 21 by 2 power 3 into 5 square. It is in the, the denominator is in the form of 2 power m into 5 power n. So the option is 2. Next question. If p comma q are co-prime numbers then hcf of p comma q. Two indices are said to be in co-prime if the only positive integer that divides both of them is 1. So from the given options they are asked let us take a through two prime number co-prime numbers uh, for example 2 comma 3 and the factor of 2 is 1 and 2 and the factors of 3 is 1 and 3 both has a common factor of 1. So the HCF of P comma Q is always 1. Next one. The smallest number which leaves reminders 8 and 12 when divided by 28 and 32 respectively. So first we need to find out the LCM of 28 and 32. Let us multiply divide with 2. 14 comma 16. Again 2. 7 comma 8. Again 2. 7 comma 4. Again 2. 7 comma 2. 2, 7, 1. So that tends to the LCM tends to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 and the value is 224. So the smallest number which leaves reminders 8 and 12 when divided by 28 and 32. So the smallest number tends to 24 minus 8 minus 12. Now answer is 2 not 4. Which of the following statements is true? So logarithm of 1 to any non-zero base is 0. It is a true. Logarithm of any non-zero number to the same base is 1. Logarithm of a number with different bases have different values. So all the given options are correct. So let us know that. The log of 1 is always equal to 0. Logarithmic of 1 value is always 0. No matter what base of log is. Because any number raised to equal raised to 0 is equals to 1. So the options all are true. Next one. Seventh one. If the characteristic of logarithm of a number is n, then the number of digits. Given that characteristic of logarithm of a number is n. So the number of digits is given as n plus 1. Next one. If a equals to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and b equals to 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 then a minus b that tends to 1 2 3 4 5 minus 4 5 6 7. So the answer is 
वन कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री बिकॉज फोर फाइव आर कॉमन सो फ्रॉम ए वी आर एलिमिनेटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ बी सो फोर फाइव आर एलिमिनेटेड सो द आंसर इज वन कॉमा टू कॉमा थ्री नाइन्थ वन इफ ए ईक्वल्स टू एक्स ऑफ एक्स इज एन ईवन नंबर लेस दैन टेन एंड बी एक्स ऑफ एक्स इज अ प्राइम नंबर लेस दैन टेन देन एन ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी सो लेट एस टेक अ टू सेट्स ए एंड बी एंड दे आर गिवेन द कंडीशन दैट ए ईक्वल्स टू एक्स ऑफ एक्स इज एन ईवन नंबर सो लेट एस टेक द ईवन नंबर्स लेस दैन टेन एंड बी ईक्वल्स टू प्राइम नंबर्स लेस दैन टेन द प्राइम नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू टेन आर टू थ्री फाइव एंड सेवन सो द ए इंटरसेक्शन बी द कॉमन बिटवीन द टू सेट्स इज ओनली टू सो द नंबर ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज इक्वल टू वन नेक्स्ट वन इफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट द गिवन दैट ए इंटरसेक्शन इक्वल ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव दैट मीन्स ए एंड बी आर डिसजॉइंट सेट्स सो ए इक्वल्स टू फाइव एंड बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव एंड ऑल्सो ए इक्वल्स टू फाइव बी नॉट इक्वल्स टू फाइव सो दिस इज द डिसजॉइंट सेट्स नेक्स्ट वन लेवेंथ वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ फैक्टर ऑफ द पॉलोमियल एक्स क्यूब प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस सेवेंटीन एक्स प्लस फिफ्टीन सो फ्रॉम द गिवन ऑप्शन लेट एस टेक द फैक्टर एक्स माइनस थ्री द टेंस टू एक्स माइनस थ्री इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट मीन्स एक्स इक्वल्स टू थ्री सब्सटीट्यूट एक्स इक्वल्स टू थ्री इन द गिवन पॉलोमियल एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू एफ ऑफ थ्री दैट मीन्स थ्री क्यूब प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर नाइनटीन माइनस सेवेंटीन इंटू थ्री प्लस फिफ्टीन दैट टेंस टू ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस नाइन माइनस फिफ्टी वन प्लस फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी सेवन प्लस नाइन प्लस फिफ्टीन इज फिफ्टी वन माइनस फिफ्टी वन इट इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो एक्स माइनस थ्री इज द फैक्टर ऑफ द गिवन पॉलिनोमियल ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन इफ आल्फा कॉमा बीटा आर द जीरोस ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोमियल x square plus x plus one then one by alpha plus one by beta so the from the given polynomial it is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c so the sum of alpha the sum of zeros alpha plus beta is given as minus b by a that equals to minus one by one that equals to minus one alpha into beta equals to c by a that equals to one by one that equals to one वन बै आलफा प्लस वन बै बीटा यू नीड टू फैंड दिस वैल्यू सो क्रॉस मल्टीप्लै बीटा प्लस आलफा बै आलफा बीटा दट मीन मैनस वन बै वन दट ईक्वल टू मैनस वन सो द वैल्यू आफ वन बै आलफा प्लस वन बै बीटा ईक्वल टू मैनस वन नैक्स्ट वन थर्टीन इफ अ पॉलोमियल डिग्री सेवन इज डिवेडेड बै अ पॉलोमियल ऑफ डिग्री थ्री डिग्री फोर दैन द डिग्री ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ईज पॉलोमियल ऑफ डिग्री सेवन and polynomial of degree 4 so polynomial x power 7 minus 4 so the answer is x power 3 so the degree of quotient is 3 next one 14th one the number of solutions of the pair of linear equations x plus 2 2y equals to 8 and 2x plus 4y equals to 16 so from the given linear equations a1 by a2 equals to 1 by 2 b1 by b2 equals to 2 by 4 that equals to 1 by 2 and c1 by c2 equals to minus 8 by minus 16 that equals to 1 by 2 so a1 by a2 equals to b1 by b2 equals to c1 by c2 that means it has infinitely many solutions Moving on to the next question, fifteenth one. Five years ago, Ramu was thrice as old as Somu, and ten years later, Ramu will be twice as old as Somu. Then the present ages of Ramu and Somu respectively. So let us take Ramu as x and Somu as y. So they are given that from the first equation, was thrice as old as Somu, and ten years later, Ramu will be twice as old as Somu. So Representing it in the equation form, x minus five equals to three into 
y minus 5 that equals to x minus 3y plus 10 equals to 0 this is the equation 1 and given also given that x plus 10 equals to 2 into y plus 10 so from this equation x minus 2 y minus 10 equals to 0 this is 2 so from 1 and 2 x minus 3 y plus 10 equals to 0 x minus 2 y minus 10 equals to 0 minus plus plus so y equals to 20 so from the equation 1 x minus 3 into 20 plus 10 equals to 0 that equals to x equals to 50 and y equals to 20 so the age of Ramu is 50 and the age of Somu is 20 so 50 comma 20 so moving on to the next question 16th one the pair of linear equations 2x plus y minus 5 equals to 0 and 3x minus 2y minus 4 equals to 0 intersect at the point so from the equations x y 1 1 minus 5 2 1 so from here 1 minus 5 2 1 from same here also minus 2 3 sorry minus 2 minus 4 3 minus 2 from this cross multiplication x by minus 4 minus 10 that equals to y by minus 15 plus 8 that equals to 1 by minus 4 minus 3 so that tends to x by minus 14 equals to 1 by minus 7 and y by minus 7 equals to 1 by minus 7 so x equals to 2 y equals to 1 x comma y equals to 2 comma 1 so the option is 2 comma 1 17th one for what value of k does the quadratic equation 9x square plus 3kx plus 4 equals to 0? So from this equa given polynomial equation a equals to 9, b equals to 3k, c equals to 4. So the given ask that have equal roots. That means we need to find the roots b square minus 4ac equals to 0. b value is 3k square minus 4ac equals to 0. 9k square equals to 16 into 9 k square equals to 16 into 9 by 9 9 9 cancel that means k square equals to 16 k equals to plus or minus 4 so the value of k is plus or minus 4 next one 18th one a takes 6 days less than the time taken by b to finish a piece of work and if both a and b together can finish it in four days then the time taken by b to finish the work is so from the options i mean so from the question they have given that a and b by four so they complete in the four days if they both work together so from this equation x minus six plus x by x into x minus 6 equals to 1 by 4 4 into 2x minus 6 equals to x square minus 6x 24 equals to x square minus 6x so from this x square minus 14x plus 24 equals to 0 so expanding this x square minus 12x minus 2x plus 24 equals to 0 x into x minus 12 minus 2 into x minus 12 equals to 0 x minus 2 x minus 12 equals to 0 x equals to 12 comma 2 so the, the b can't finish it in 2 days so the option is x equals to 12 the number of days that b can finish the work is 12 days so next one 19th one if the product of two consecutive indices is T0-6, then the quadratic representation of the condition is. Let us take a two consecutive indices that has x comma x plus 1. So the product equals to 3 not 6 
x square plus x equals to 3 not 6 x square plus x minus 3 not 6 equals to 0 so this is the quadratic equation that represents the condition 20th one if x equals to 1 is a common root of ax square plus ax plus 2 equals to 0 and x square plus x plus b equals to 0 then the value of b given that x equals to 1 for ax square plus ax plus 2 equals to 0 that means a into 1 square plus a into 1 plus 2 equals to 0 a plus a plus 2 equals to 0 2a equals to minus 2 that means a equals to minus 1 and next equation given is x square plus x plus b equals to 0 1 square plus 1 plus b equals to 0 1 plus 1 plus b equals to 0 d equals to minus 2 so the value of a into b minus 1 into minus 2 that tends to 2 so the value of a b equals to 2 next question 21 the missing term of the arithmetic progression 3 question mark 33 48 and so on given that it is an arithmetic progression so the common difference d equals to a2 minus a1 or a3 minus a2 or a4 minus a3 and so on so 48 minus 33 4 48 minus 30 that equals to 15 the second term is given as a plus d that means 3 plus d 3 plus 15 that equals to 18 so the second term is 18 next one 22 if 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus and so on up to n terms by 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus and so on up to 8 terms equals to 9 then the formula is given as n by 2 into 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 into 2 by 8 by 2 into 2 into 2 plus 8 minus 1 into 3 that equals to 9 so 2 2 cancel n into 2 plus 2n minus 2 by 8 into 4 plus 21 equals to 9 so from this n into 2n equals to 200 into 9 2n square equals to 1800 n square equals to 900 n equals to 30 so from the given condition n value is 30 so the next question is 23 if the sixth term of a geometric progression gp is 243 and first term is 32 then what will be the fifth term of the geometric progression so from that sixth term let us take as t6 equals to 243 the formula of geometric progression is ar power 5 equals to 243 now given that the first term is 32 so that means a equals to 32 r power 5 equals to 243 by 32 that means r equals to 243 by 32 whole power 1 by 5 so from this r equals to 3 by 2 the fifth term t equals t5 equals to r power 4 32 into 3 by 2 whole power 4 that means 32 into 81 by 16 that equals to 162 next one 24 the arithmetic mean between two numbers are 75 and 21 respectively then the numbers are so the given that 3 and 147 so let us take the options 3 comma 147 by 2 that equals to 150 by 2 that equals to 75 root over 3 into 147 equals to root over 441 that equals to 21 so these are the numbers that satisfy the given equation 3 comma 147 25 if the points x comma 9 0 comma 1 and minus 6 comma minus 7 are collinear then the value of x now given that these are collinear so let us take this as a and b and c so the slope of a b 
So the formula of slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So let us solve. 1 minus 9 by 0 minus x. That equals to minus 8 by minus x. That equals to 8 by x. And slope of dc minus 7 minus 1 by minus 6 minus 0. That equals to minus 8 by minus 6. That equals to 4 by 3. So they have given that both are collinear. So 8 by x equals to 4 by 3. So from this 4x equals to 24. x equals to 6. So the value of x is 6. Next, 26. Uh, the area of a triangle with vertices a comma b plus c, b comma c plus a, and c comma a plus b. So let us, the area of triangle is given as 1 by 2 into x1 minus x2 here, x1 minus x3, y1 minus y2, y1 minus y3. So, substituting the values a minus b, a minus c, b plus c minus c minus a, b plus c minus a minus b. So, from this half of a minus b, a minus c, b minus a, c minus a, value is half of a minus b into c minus a minus b minus a into a minus c so the value of this is 0 so 0 into anything 0 so the value is 0 next one 27 the slope of a line perpendicular to 13x minus 7y plus 1 equals to 0 so let us find out the slope m that equals to minus a by b that equals to minus 13 by minus 7 that equals to 13 by 7 and the perpendicular slope is given as minus 1 by m so minus 1 by 13 by 7 that equals to minus 7 by 13 so the perpendicular slope is minus 7 by 13 next one 28 the midpoint of the line joining the point 4 comma 5 minus 2 comma minus 1 so the for formula of midpoint is x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 so x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 plus y2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 4 minus 2 2 by 2 5 minus 1 4 by 2 that tends to 1 comma 2 so the midpoint of the line joining the point is 1 comma 2 next one 29 the ratio in which the x axis divides the line segment joining the points 4 comma 6 and 3 comma minus 8 so we need to find out the ratio so the formula is minus y1 is to y2 so from the given points minus 6 is to minus 8 that tends to 3 is to 4 so the ratio is 3 is to 4 next one 30 uh, the point on the x axis which equidistant from the points 2 comma minus 5 and minus 2 comma 9 so let us take a point p of x comma 0 which lies on x axis and this is as a and this is as b p a equals to p b squaring on both sides p a square equals to p b square p a square the distance between two points p x comma 0 a 2 comma minus 5 x minus 2 whole square plus 0 plus 5 whole square equals to x plus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 9 whole square so the distance between two uh, a line segment p a equals to root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so by using this formula we, just, you, uh, we are going to solve this square plus 4 minus 4x plus 25 that equals to x square plus 4 plus 4x plus 81 29 minus 4x equals to 4x plus 85 minus 56 equals to 8x x equals to minus 7 and p x comma 0 so y equals to all 0 so the point is minus 7 comma 0 next one in the given figure px equals to 5 and xr equals to 3 centimeters qr equals to 7.2 given that xy is parallel to pq then the length of ry 
the figure drawn given is like this p q x y. let us say this as x then 7.2 minus x so p x by x r equals to q y by by r that means 5 by 3 equals to 7.2 minus x by x so solving this 5x equals to 3 into 7.2 minus x that tends to 8x equals to 3 into 7.2 x equals to 2.7 the length of r y next one 32 if the ratio of the corresponding sides of two similar triangles is 2 is to 3 then the ratio of the corresponding altitudes we know the formula that ratio of cor uh, corresponding altitudes is equal to the ratio of sides so the value is 2 is to 3 next one 33 in the given figure ab equals to c ac equals to b ad is perpendicular to bc then ad d c d a so from this ad square equals to bd into dc bc square equals to b square plus c square bc equals to root over b square plus c square so given that we know that acd triangle acd is similar to triangle abc so ac by bc equals to ad by ab so ac value is b by root over b square plus c square that equals to ad by c ad equals to b into c by root over b square plus c square so the answer is bc by root over b square plus c square next one 34 if the circumference of the of a circle is 22 centimeters then the area of quadrant of circle they have given that circumference so the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r that equals to 22 and the value of pi is given as 3.14 or 22 by 7 so r equals to 22 by 2 pi r equals to 22 by 2 into 22 by 7 that equals to 7 by 2 r equals to that means 7 by 2 that equals to 3.5 the area of quadrant of circle is the formula is pi r square by 4 so pi value is 22 by 7 1 by 4 into pi r square sorry so uh, r value is 3.5 square r value 3.5 r square 3.5 square so the area is given as 22 by 7 into 1 by 4 into 3.5 into 3.5 that equals to 9.625 square centimeters next one 35 four equal circles a b c d four equal circles each of radius 7 centimeters touch each other and a square a b c d is formed through the centers a b c d of these circles as shown in the figure then the area of shaded region so this is the shaded region so first we need to find the area of circle the area of circle equals to pi r square that equals to 22 by 7 into r value 7 7 square that equals to 154 square centimeters that means side of square is a that equals to 14 centimeters then the area is given as then the area of square is given as a square it equals to 14 square that equals to 196 square centimeters or centimeter square so the area of shaded region is given as area of square minus area of circle that equals to 196 minus 154 that equals to 42 
square centimeters. Next one, 36. The length of tangent from a point 15 centimeters away from the center of a circle of radius 9 centimeters in distance d equals to 15. So, the length of tangent is given as root over d square minus r square. That equals to root over 15 square minus 9 square. 225 minus 81. Root over 144 that equals to 12 centimeters. 37. If two circles touch internally, then the number of the common tangents. Now, given that two circles touch internally, that means there is only one common tangent. So, the number of common tangents is 1. Next one, 38. If the radius of a sphere is tripled, then its volume will become. Given that, let us take a volume of sphere of radius r. Given that it is tripled, so r equals to 3r. Normally, volume of sphere is given as 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, let us substitute 3r in r. 4 by 3 pi into 3r whole cube. That means 4 by 3 pi 27 r cube. That tends to 27 into 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, from this we can say that the volume becomes 27 times. Next one, 39. A patient in a hospital is given soup daily in a cylindrical bowl of diameter 7 centimeters. So, diameter 7 r equals to d by 2. That equals to 7 by 2. Now, given that the bowl is filled with the soup to a height of 4 centimeters. Then how many liters of soup the hotel management has to prepare daily to serve 100 patients? So the volume of cylinder equals to pi r square h. That means 22 by 7 into r square 7 by 2 whole square into 4. The value is 154 centimeter cube. We know that 1 centimeter cube equals to 0 0.001 liters. So, the volume is given as 154 into 0 0.001 liters. That equals to 0 0.154. So, daily to serve 100 patients is given as 100 into 0 0.154. That tends to 15.4. So, 15 point liters of soup should be prepared by the management for serving 100 patients. Next, 40. The TSA of cone with slant height h equals to 21 meters. Slant height, no? So, let us take this L. And diameter 24 meters. That means R equals to 12 meters. So, the total surface area of cone is given as pi R into L plus R that equals to pi into 12 into 21 plus 12 that equals to pi into 12 into 33 that equals to 396 pi square meters. Next one 41. Cos of 90 minus theta minus sin 90 minus theta sorry into you know that cos 90 minus theta equals to sin theta sin 90 minus theta equals to cos theta. So, sin theta into cos theta. This can be written as sin theta by cos theta into cos square theta. We know that sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. And cos square theta is also written as 1 by secant square theta. And we know the formula that secant square theta equals to 1 plus tan square theta. So, the answer is given as tan theta into 1 by 1 plus tan square theta. Next one. The value of cos 1, cos 2 and so on up to cos 180. You know that cos 1 into cos 2 into and so on cos 90 into cos 180. You know the value that cos 90 equals to 0. So, cos 1, cos 2 and so on 0 into 180. 0 into anything is 0. So, the answer is 0. 
फोर्टी थ्री द वैल्यू ऑफ टेन सिक्सटी फाइव बै का ट्वेंटी फाइव काट कैन बी आलो रिटर्न ऐस का नई मैन सिक्सटी फाइव दिस आलो कैन बी रिटर्न सो का नई मैन डीटा टैन डीटा सो टेन सिक्सटी फाइव बै टेन सिक्सटी फाइव दट ईक्वल टू वन नैक्स्ट वन फारटी फोर टू टेन थर्टी बै वन मैन टेन स्क्वे थर्टी सो वि नो द वैल्यू दट टेन थर्टी ईक्वल टू वन बै रूट थ्री एंड वन मैन वन बै रूट थ्री हॉल स्क्वे सो टू बै रूट थ्री बै वन मैन वन बै थ्री टू बै रूट थ्री बै थ्री मैन वन टू बै थ्री सो टू बै रूट थ्री इंटू थ्री बै टू 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 कैंसल थ्री बै रूट थ्री सो थ्री कैन बी आलो आलो रिटन एस रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री बै रूट थ्री सो रूट थ्री रूट थ्री कैंसल द वैल्यू इज रूट थ्री दट मीन दट ईक्वल टू टेन सिक्सटी सो द ऑप्शन इज टेन सिक्सटी नैक्स्ट वन फारटी फाइव टेन आफ ए मैन बी ईक्वल टू वन बै रूट थ्री एंड सैन आफ एक्वल टू वन बै रूट टू दिवन दट टेन ए मैन बी ईक्वल टू रूट थ्री दट मीन टेन थर्टी सो ए मैन बी ईक्वल टू थर्टी दिस ऑप्शन वन सैन ए सैन एक्वल टू सैन फारटी फाइव सो एक्वल टू फारटी फाइव सो फ्रम द इक्वेशन वन फारटी फाइव मैन बी ईक्वल टू थर्टी देन बी ईक्वल टू फारटी फाइव मैन थर्टी दट ईक्वल टू फिफ्टीन सो द वैल्यू ऑफ बी ईज फिफ्टीन डिग्री नैक्स्ट वन फारटी सिक्स इफ एक्स ईक्वल टू ए सी कैन टीटा एंड वै ईक्वल टू बी तैन टीटा दैन द वैल्यू ऑफ बी स्क्वे एक्स स्क्वे मैन ए स्क्वे वै स्क्वे सो एक्स ईक्वल टू ए सैन टीटा दट मीन एक्स बै ईक्वल टू सी कैन टीटा एंड वै बै बी ईक्वल टू tan theta. They are asking about. So let us. We know that secant square theta minus tan square theta equals to one. So x by a whole square minus y by b whole square equals to one. So x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to one. Cross multiply b square x square minus y square a square by a square b square equals to one. We need to find the value of b square x square minus a square y square. So b square x square minus a square y square equals to a square b square. So the answer is a square into b square. Next one, forty-seven sine theta by one plus cos theta. So rationalizing the fraction with one minus cos theta. So one minus cos theta by one minus cos theta. Sine theta into one minus cos theta by one plus cos theta into one minus cos theta. A plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. So one square minus cos square theta. So we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta. Equals to one. That means one minus cos square theta equals to sine square theta. So sine theta into one minus cos theta by sine square theta. Sine theta one sine theta cancel. One minus cos two theta by sine theta. So the given answer is one minus cos two theta by sine theta. Next one forty eight. A kite is flying at a height of sixty meters above from the ground. The string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground. The inclination of the string with the ground is sixty degrees. Assuming that there is no slack in the string, then the length of the string is. So, by the given information, let us draw a diagram triangle. B, A, and C. Angle sixty. 
and height 60 meters. So from the triangle sin 60 equals to AB by BC. You know the value of sin 60 is root 3 by 2 equals to AB. AB value is 60 meters by BC. BC equals to 60 into 2 by root 3. So that equals to 120 by root 3. That equals to 40 root 3 meters. Next, so the value of BC is 40 root 3. This is the length of the string. 49. What is the angle of elevation of the sun? If the length of the shadow of a tower is 1 by root 3 times of the height of the tower. So, let us take it as AB equals to H and AC as 1 by root 3 H. Let us draw a diagram A, B, C. This is 1 by root 3 H and this is H and this is theta. So from the triangle tan theta equals to A, B by A, C opposite by adjacent. Sorry. So H by H by root 3. H into root 3 by H that equals to root 3 tan theta equals to root 3 that means tan 60 equals to root 3 so the value of theta is 60 degrees so the angle of elevation of the sun is 60 degrees next 150 the angle of elevation of the top of a tower standing on a horizontal plane from a point a is alpha after walking a distance d towards the foot of the tower the angle of elevation is found to be beta and the height of the tower is. So based on the given information let us draw a diagram. Two points. This is B and this is C and this is A. Let us take this as A alpha at point A and D. This is the distance D. So from the triangle tan beta equals to BC by CD. So from this that equals to H by CD as BC equals to H. So CD equals to H by tan beta. 1 by tan beta is written as cot beta. So and tan alpha equals to BC by AC. BC is H. AC AD plus DC so D plus CD this is H so tan alpha value and CD value so substituting the CD value here D plus CD is equals to H by tan alpha sending this here and this has this side that equals to already I have already said that 1 by tan alpha is cot alpha so h into cot alpha substituting this cd value here d plus h cot beta equals to h cot alpha d equals to h into cot alpha minus cot beta So the height is given as d by cot alpha minus cot beta. Next one, 51. Two friends are born in the year 2000. The probability that they have the same birthday. So they are given that they are born in 2000. So the total number of days is 366 days. So, the, let us take this as n of s and n of a equals to 1. That is the favorable. That means they are asking about the on same day. So, only one favorable outcome. So, the probability is given as favorable, uh, sorry, favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. That equals to 1 by 366. 
Uh, in a simultaneous toss of two coins, the probability of getting at least one head. The probability they are given that two coins are tossed. So two coins that tends to n of s that equals to two square. That equals to four. A equals to the favorable outcomes. Head comma head, uh, head comma tail, tail comma head. So these are the possible ways. So the number of favorable outcomes is 3. The probability is given as number of favorable outcomes is total number of outcomes. 3 by 4. Next one, 53. If a die is thrown once, then the probability of getting a prime number. Even that die is thrown once. So it has 6 outcomes. So they are asking about the prime numbers. So from 1 to 6, the prime numbers are 2, 3, comma. So, the number of favorable outcomes are 3. The probability is given as n of a by n of s. That means 3 by 6. That equals to 1 by 2. Next one, 54. If E and E bar are the events of occurrence and non-occurrence of a random experiment respectively, then P of E equals to 0 0.05. You know the formula that P of E bar equals to 1 minus P of E. That equals to 1 minus 0 0.05. That equals to 0 0.95. So the value of P of E bar is 0 0.95. Next one, 55. In a graphical representation of a frequency distribution, if the distance between mode and median is k times, the distance between median and mean, then the value of k. So based on the given information, mode minus mean equals to k into median minus mean. That equals to mode minus mean equals to k into median minus k into mean. From here, mode equals to k into median minus k into mean plus mean. So, k into median plus 1 minus k mean. We know the formula that mode equals to 3 median minus 2 mean. So, from this k equals to 3. Next question, 56. The mean of 100 observations is 49. When errors 60, 70, 80 are registered as 40, 20, 50. They are given that 60, 70, 80 are registered as 40, 20 and 50. Total number of observations n equals to 100. And the mean is 49. So the formula of mean is sigma x by n equals to 49. You know already know the value n equals to 100. So sigma x equals to 100 into 49. So 4900. Now given that 60, 70, 80 are registered as 40, 20, 50. So 4900 minus 40 minus 20 minus 50. So the correct mean is plus 60 plus 70 plus 80. Eliminating these values and adding these values. So the correct mean tends to sigma x by n. The value of this new sigma x value is 5000. So 5000 by 100 that equals to 50. So the correct mean is 50. 57. A car manufacturing company announced that most of the people are showing interest to purchase red color cars. The measure of central tendency that is selected for this observation is. So they can be select the answer is mode because the most people are selecting red cars. That means 
they are repeatedly purchasing the red cards the, the repeatedly purchasing means it tends to more the central tendency that can be selected is more next one if median of 10 observations the 10 observations and the observations are 20 22 27 28 32 x plus 2 39 40 41 and 50 they are arranged in the ascending order and given that median equals to 34 they are asking to find the value of x so from this ascending order they are already placed in the ascending order so the median 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 so 28 cancel 39 cancel 32 x plus 2 median x plus 2 plus 32 by 2 equals to given that median is 34 so 34 plus x equals to 34 into 2 that means 34 into 2 equals to 68 minus 34 that equals to 34 so the value of x equals to 34 next one 59 if mean of first n natural numbers is n then the value of n is given that sorry the mean is given as 15 then the value of n 15 plus n so from the options so from the given options let us take the mean value as 15 n plus 1 by 2 the formula of mean that equals to 15 n plus 1 equals to 15 into 2 that equals to 30 n equals to 30 minus 1 29 so the value of n is 29 next one 60 the difference between the maximum and minimum observations maximum minus minimum observations is given as range so the answer is range